Hi ladies, hi gents. Um, I just want to share a quick project with you today. Um, I was watching some videos the other day and I was actually watching one of Juliana's videos where she received a gift from Miss Liberty 25 and that's Miranda and Miranda had made this stunning necklace for Juliana using one of the Tim Holtz um, book plates and um, I absolutely loved it so much and I thought I've got to try something making a piece of jewellery using one of these so what I decided to do was to make a cuff bracelet so this is my cuff bracelet and I'm just going to take it off so I can, it just pops off like that, so, just so you can see it. And I'm just going to lift it up so you can have a look at it. And I really enjoyed making this, so thank you Miranda for the inspiration. I'm just going to talk you through how I made this. So for the band, I haven't covered this in felt, I am actually going to cover this in felt on the back. Um, you don't have to because um, this is actually quite a pliable um, product that I've used. I've actually used the Tim Holtz grunge paper. I don't, it's, it's actually quite soft and you know it was, I thought that would be good to make the band out of that. So what I did is I cut a strip, and I think this is an inch and a half, and obviously the length will be what your wrist is, plus a bit extra to make the, the overlap for the fastener. Um, but the best way to do it would be to measure your own wrist. Um, so I took the grunge paper and I just gave it a, a coat of some watered down cream paint on both sides. Um, so then I have my strip. So then I covered it in some lace. So I used this crocheted lace either side. I'll just show you. So I used it there. And that side. Then down the centre I use this uh, ruffle trim that I had in my stash, like this. And this was too white to match. So what I did was I just mixed up a, a tiny bit of antique linen um, reinker in one of my spritzer bottles with water and I just um, dyed the lace using that to get it. Uh, I'll show you the difference. It just needed to have that more creamy look. I don't know if you can see but I don't know if the light's very good. But it gave it that more vintage look. So then I placed that down the centre and then in the centre of that I used this vintage lace that was sent to me by Diana. Hi Diana! Um, so I used a piece of that. But before I added the lace I did actually cut my holes. And I just used my crocodile and I used the smaller of the hole punch to do that. Um, when I added the lace I didn't glue over the hole because obviously I didn't want I wanted to be able to put my fastener in and I wanted this hole to be flexible this side so I glued either side of the hole when I was putting the lace on. Um, for the fastener I just used one of Tim Holtz I think they're called hitch fasteners um, I've got one here I think they are hitch fasteners one of these and 
and then I just I doubled up the grunge paper this side to make it stronger and this side I just punched the hole and I just gently snipped four sections just so that it's a bit flexible as you're putting the hitch fastener through so that it just pops through like that so that's all the closure is I used cream paint on the book plate to give it this look I've got it upside down and then I just lay it on one of these um, rosette trims and again I stained this with the antique linen because obviously this is white <laughs> and I wanted it more cream um, I did actually stitch the book plate onto the rosette I did actually stitch it through here just to make it more secure because this is quite a heavy piece and I thought if I glued it on it might come away so I just put a couple of stitches either side um, you can add any picture, words, sayings, anything I've just added this small image of birds sitting on a cherry blossom branch I think it is <clears throat> and then I just added a um, couple of lace leaves either side again this is some from some of the vintage laces that Diana sent me so I've added that either side and then I added a crystal spray on both sides and it's got the, the bead pearls coming off it and then I just added a tiny rose in the centre of both of them so that's my bracelet inspired by um, Miranda's necklace um, I hope you like it and it was great fun to make and um, I will be wearing it <laughs> for sure you could also make it to go around a candle or something like that if you don't want to make it as a bracelet but you could do it as a um, a decoration to go around a candle or a bottle or anything like that so I hope you like my bracelet and um, if you've got any questions just let me know and um, I'll try and answer them and I'll speak to you all soon bye for now